Sea star facts. The sea star's scientific name is out of this world, which just lends to their space-themed common name. Of course, this name is also in reference to their similar appearance to the five-pointed star shape. Not all sea stars come with five arms, though. Some sea stars, like the sunflower sea star, can have as many as 40 arms. There are upwards of 2,000 living classified sea star species, which leaves room for lots of variety. The smallest sea stars are less than an inch long, while the largest can be nearly three feet in length. And they don't have a head or blood, though they do sort of have eyes. Sea stars have ocelli at the ends of their arms, which are simple eye spots that are used to detect light. These echinoderms also have a water vascular system instead of blood and blood vessels. A sea star will pump water throughout its body and this is what helps the sea star move around. These animals have tube feet that either end in suction cups which adhere to hard surfaces or points which help them traverse a sandy landscape. Sea stars are only found in marine environments but they can be seen in every ocean of the world. They will live anywhere from intertidal zones to the abyss. Sea stars can sit near the top of the food chain in some habitats. For example, the crown of thorns sea star is well known for its destructive behavior on coral reefs. Some sea stars may eat floating debris caught in a mucus covering their bodies while others can catch fish. Other sea stars may pull apart clam shells to eat the soft creature inside. And some sea stars push their stomach outside of their body and engulf their prey with it. They then release digestive fluids that help break down the prey until it is jelly enough to be pulled back into the sea star's body along with the stomach. For the most part, adult sea stars are safe from predation. I don't know about you, but I'm not sure I could get past that crunchiness. Apparently, bottlenose whales can deal with the crunch though, because they eat adult sea stars. Adult sea stars can also be impacted by wasting disease, which basically turns them into goo. Baby sea stars are more likely to face predation. Many sea stars breed by spawning males and females synchronously release sperm and eggs into the water column. Some species are hermaphroditic and have both male and female organs. These may brood their eggs instead of sending them out to sea. For those that do take part in broadcast spawning, the fertilized egg developed into larvae which float as easy to eat zooplankton until they are developed enough to sink to the bottom. Once settled on the seafloor, sea stars may live up to 35 years. Some sea, star sea stars can regenerate lost limbs or even clone themselves via a lost limb. Though usually the center disc needs to be present for this to occur. Sea stars can regenerate because many of their organs are actually in their arms. 